Hey guys, Eve Edition here, and we're back with more Subnautica. I'm pleased to announce that you can save your progress now. So we can actually do a proper, like, do as much as we possibly can let's play type thing with this game, which is awesome because this game is fucking amazing. Even in its earliest uh, accessiness. Yeah. Let's dive in, shall we? You like that? That was a pun. A little, little pun. All right, so we're gonna do survival. We're not gonna do hardcore because I am terrible at video games. We all know this. That's a thing we know. Keep that in the back of your mind. The addiction is terrible at video games. Okay, it's okay that he fails. Okay, that's my excuse, right? That's how I. That's how I subjugate all the uh, all the negativity and, and 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 blame. That's how I justify it. All right, we're in our little pod here, and uh, we are out in the vast ocean of an alien world, of course. And, oh, look at that! Our seed spawned us right on top of a kelp forest. That is just delightful. So I have these fucking sharks I gotta deal with every day. That's fantastic! I love that! I don't, though. I'm lying. Come here, Gary Fish. Gary Fish! Come here. Got him. All right. So, one of the things that's changed since I last played this on YouTube is, um, you have to pick up fragments of, like, a sea moth or, um, the constructor or what, what have you in order to build it. Why can't I grab that fucking salt? God damn it. Gary Fish? Gary Fish! You are fucking ugly. I love you. All right. So, and, uh, I can use this thing now. I can, I can store things inside of this. I just ate that Gary Fish, um, raw. That was a raw Gary Fish. That's great. Okay. Ugh. These fucking guys are just swimming around, fucking with the goddamn... <laughs> All the they, they, just, they just fuck with the metal pieces. I hate it. Fucking hate it. Okay. It's time to survive in the ocean. The beautiful ocean. Oh, we need sand. We actually need sand. We're gonna grab some salt, some sand. All right. More than anything, we need metal. Okay. Yes, I know. I know. My oxygen's terrible. Thank you. Okay, so... This actually isn't that bad of a seed. Um, the last time I played this game, I was playing on stream, and uh, it put me, like... Basically, next to two giant drop-off points into the dark, deep parts of the ocean that are scary and make me pee myself, and yeah, no, it was no fun. It was absolutely no fun. I need this little peeper. Hey, peeper! Come here, buddy! Gotcha! No, fuck! The sand! There we go. There we go. Uh, quartz. Yes, I'll take that quartz. Thank you. What is this? What's in this limestone? I'll take that, too. I need all these things, because I'm... I'm, I'm a fresh recruit, fresh into the the depths of this fucking awesome world that's going to kill me eventually, probably. Got some zinc, more of that stuff. So that's not bad. I mean, it, it sucks that the kelp forest is like right here. So every time I jump out of my pod, I'm at the I'm, I'm risking getting bitten by one of these things. But I'll make a knife pretty soon here. And they're moving the metal pieces around. They love to do that. These dumb sharks. I hate them. Okay, little peeper. Oh, he's so floppy in my hand! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna actually cook you up. Bam! Cook that little peeper. Okay, uh, what can I make? Silicone. That's great. Grab some, some carbon. I forget what that's for, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, batteries. Yes, we'll make batteries. Batteries are good. Batteries are great. Uh, make some more silicone. I think that's for fins. We're, we're making some, yeah, new fins. There we go. Beautiful. Now I can swim nice and fast. Uh, what's this? Gravisphere. Cur generate strong current. I don't think I need that right now. Uh, where's the knife? Do I have a knife? Where the fuck's the knife? Oh, there it is. I need metal and emery. Okay. Grab some emery. Let's make some more glass here. You never know when you might need glass. Actually, you always need glass. Okay. So I can make a flashlight. That's cool. I don't really care right now. Um, emery. We gotta go chip off some, uh, some emery here. So I talked about how this is, like, my fear, right? This is, right, oh shit, oh no, we are next to a drop-off point. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, don't go that way. Don't go that way. So this way's safe. This way is a safe, nice place for us to, to hang out. And grab some materials, but uh, eventually we're gonna have to go into the, the dark, deep, Cthulhu-ridden 
darkness. I hate it. Just, just the idea of going down there. I mean, I've been there many times. You've seen it before. We built a submarine. It was adorable. Adorable little sea moth. There we go. We got some memory. Um, but it's just, and it's like, I know the game's limited right now as far as like, there's only one super beast and it's the Cthulhu and I can go right up and boop it on the nose and it's not gonna do shit to me but the fact that it exists and that it's just like the the the, the unknowable you know the no unknowability of of the ocean like even on earth we've explored what like five percent of it we've identified like they're thinking maybe ten percent of the the species that are that reside in the oceans on, on earth and uh, that's 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 horrifying and then the the the, the bloop you guys ever hear about the bloop? This is like 1996, um, in the, I think it was the Atlantic Ocean, uh, they were like, monitor, they're always monitoring like sound waves, you know, because like, uh, it, it helps them track, uh, uh, whale, uh, pods and stuff like that because they communicate with, uh, with their, what do you call it, uh, not echolocation. I mean, you know, they, 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 they hum. They make humming noises they can, that register at certain frequencies and stuff. And so they're always recording that stuff and trying to figure out, like, where they're going and what they're doing and how they're, how they're surviving and living and all that stuff. There we go. Get a nice knife there so I can stab things. And, uh, and they picked up a frequency or, like, a, a, it, was a, it was just a noise, and it lasted for a couple seconds. And... Uh, I think, I think recently they were, um, there we go, get some more air. I think recently they're, they're, they're trying to debate whether or not it was an animal, but at the time, and for the longest time, for the last, like, two decades, it was believed that this thing that created this noise was a living creature, and if it was a living creature, it is the biggest known creature that could ever survive on Earth. Like, uh, I'm gonna stab this guy. <laughs> These guys actually aren't that hard to kill. Look at him. He's not even fighting back, and now he's dead. And I'm grabbing his, his carbon. It's great, dude. Um, but yeah, so they were, they, 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 the, the bloop belonged to a creature somewhere in the in the Atlantic Ocean that is bigger than any recorded creature in, in the history of Earth. Even dinosaurs. Even, like, the aquatic dinosaurs. Oxygen. That's fucking scary. That is terrifying. If you think about it. Like you're, let's say you're like, you're like on a yacht, you're just on a yacht in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, you get hit by a big wave and you fucking topple over, you look down into the, into the darkness and all of a sudden you realize you're looking into a giant mouth that's about to eat you. That's fucked up. Oh God, no, 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 not with you, not, not, I, I don't have time for you, you exploding little shitling. I hate those things so much. Some more quartz. Okay, how deep is it over here? This isn't so bad. Where are the 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 Mises? What do you call it? The uh, the manatees. Where are the, the the sea cows? Usually, there's a lot of them hanging out in these kind of kind of sort of deep, semi deep areas. I'm just trying to get a lay of the land here. Let's see where how far I can go before uh, before it gets really scary. Okay, down there. Down there is where it starts to get really scary. Hey guys! Hey, look at them. Ah, you're just flipping around there with your little, your little rock. Why, why do they do that? You may never know. Okay, there's a giant kelp forest right here. Oh, inventory full. Can't pick that up. Okay. Giant kelp forest, really deep over there, but uh, not that scary. There's a couple new sharks uh, I think they added into the game. There's one at least that I know, um, and I've killed them, no problem. I want another Gary fish. I want two Gary fishes. I'm gonna make them mate. They're gonna have sex. They're gonna have Gary sex. They're gonna make little Gary babies. Gary fish babies. They're gonna be fucking adorable. And I'm gonna raise them as my own. Oh, hello quartz. Yes. Beautiful. All the quartz. Yes! More quartz. Thank you. Oh, inventory completely full. Alright. Let's get, uh... Let's get going here. So... What should our goal be? I feel like there's a couple... There's a couple new gadgets we can create. Um... I can make a larger submarine called a Cyclops, but it's like, that's gonna be a project. That will be a fucking project. Cooked Gary Fish. Nope. Damn it. I always do that. I'll fucking like, I just, there we go. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Make some more carbon. Sure. Carbon's good. Carbon's great. It's fantastic. 
All right, so here's here's one thing. The sea glide, we know what that is. Stasis rifle freezes physical objects. So if I'm getting overrun by a bunch of sharks trying to fuck with me, I just shoot one of them with a the rifle and it'll, I guess it will freeze them. Um, let's see, transfusers, samples DNA. So I need a transfuser blueprint. I just have to find that in the world. And then unobtainium, which I don't even know where I would find that. I can make a welder with magnesium. I would like to, I, I would like to keep, get rid of these fucking sparks over here. These goddamn sparks. Hey guys, make sure to check out these two videos down here in the bottom. And leave a rating. And subscribe if you haven't already. If you don't subscribe, she's gonna cry. I don't actually know if cats can cry.